Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here, and I love Family Guy. This lovable cartoon with knee-slapping wit and humor leaves me coming back for more every single time. Today I'd like to discuss the show, or more specifically, the most contentious controversy in the Family Guy community itself, the death of beloved talking dog, Brian Griffin. The death of Brian in season 12 episode Brian, Life of Brian was a shocking and gruesome change to the adored Family Guy formula, not because of the loss of beloved Brian, but because of the ramifications it had on the greater Family Guy community's concept of mortality. There have been many theories on who the culprit behind Brian's murder could be. Quagmire? To the squirrel? James Woods? No icon was left safe under the scrutiny of a theorist, but I propose a different possibility. The long-lost relative of the Griffin family, Zalthuis Griffin. So who is Zalthuis Griffin? Zalthuis appears as a one-off character in a deleted montage in the episode Road to Germany. He plays a minor role, watching over Brian, Stewie, and Mort during their passage with little explanation. But who is he really? While well, information about Zalthuis is rather sparse, in a 2018 script leak at Fox Animation alongside Season 2 of Son of Zorn was the original script for the episode Zalthuis Rising, which detailed Zalthuis' storied history, including how he came to be a part of the Griffin family. The episode starts on a Vince Gilgan-esque cold open, in which we see the Griffin family grieving over a lost family member, who we later learned to be Zalthuis Griffin. Through a series of flashbacks, we find that he was not originally of Quahog, but in fact, of ancient future Mesopotamia. When his original body is destroyed in the War of Zephlon, his soul is transported to Earth 2,000 years into the future, all the way to 1939 to seek a host to inhabit. He then embarks on a journey to find technology capable of sending him back to the future. He then finds a Nazi patrol following Brian, Stewie, and Mort in the aforementioned episode Road to Germany. Seeing that this may be his only opportunity, he implants himself into the memories of all the towns in New Quahog inserting himself into the Griffin family's history. Now, I don't have time to get into Zalsuis' complete story. It's very long, very complicated. I'd love to talk about it more someday. But for now, long story short, he grew very fond of the Griffins, finally finding a place for himself where he felt he fit in. Or so he thought. Because in the climax of the episode, he learns of an FBI plot to eliminate him and any witnesses to his alien existence. Because of this, Zalthuis decides to fake his death to save the Griffins from a grisly fate. Now, while this information may seem completely irrelevant to the discussion at hand, the same Fox leak mentioned prior gave the Family Guy a nation an insight into the fact that the life of Brian's production originally contained a B-plot involving a secretive group who were planning Brian's death. These scenes were fully voice acted and animated until a rogue at Fox offices allegedly tampered with the final code of the episode. While we can only speculate, I firmly believe that the plots of Zalthuis Rising and Life of Brian were intended to be connected. Think about it. Who do you think was driving the car that hit Brian? Why, it was Zalthuis on the run from the FDIC, of course. If it weren't for the infamous Fox Coop in early 2009, it's very possible that Brian's death would have had more explanation and context, paving the way to create the first tragic Family Guy character. To those of you who say, Chris, this is absolute baloney. All I have to say to you is that I have the subscribers and you don't. Thank you for watching. I've been Christopher Beast. The end. You seem to say that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? They're lucky as a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do everything to make us laugh and cry. He's a family guy. Yeah, thank you.